There we go. No little game or this one. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious by the way her eyes light up, she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements. Colonel Halsey, fair warning, the book might actually be a part of the game. Yeah, it could, it could be. This game is fucking cracked. <laughs> cracked right up. <laughs> Yo, Halsey, do you want to voice some anime girls? <laughs> I played the whole game. I I haven't. I know what it's like and I know what happens, but I've not seen a full like 100% playthrough or anything like that. I just know it gets like mega fourth wall breaking and stuff and really dark. This is the second playthrough. So we've already lost Sayuri. Um, and to be honest, that actually did affect me a bit. Like after I did it, I was like really worried about a few people that I hadn't talked to in a while. <laughs> so I was like, are you guys okay? I would, but I should be doing D&D &D in about 15. Yo! D&D, &D, I have not played in a while because I had a big rage quit, to be honest. I'll tell you that story one day. I hope you have a good session, though, man. I hope you have a good time. What character do you play? What, um, what class? Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. This girl is the best. Ah, I read a horror book once. Have you seen my collection of Junji Ito novels? <laughs> Mate, this girl would fucking fall for me. I'd just be like, yo, look at this. This really grasps something I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with Rock. Oof. Gotta let me know that later. I prefer Paladin or Rogue. Also, Elf, Dragonborn or Warforged. The Catman. <laughs> the Catman, ooh, ooh. You, um... I can't remember what they're called. I know what you mean by the Cat People. They're very agile, right? I played a Dragonborn Barbarian once. Uh, he was basically guts without armor. So no, he was like Conan the Barbarian, to be honest. Um, because I like to hit things really fucking hard. I played um, you know the tort the t uh, the turtle, you know the turtle people. I played one who was like a really crooked pirate. I loved his character and his design was phenomenal. But that's the one that made me rage quit. I will tell you that story one day. Um, not a pretty one though. I tell you. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with Rock. <laughs> I expected that from you, Yuri. Your personality. Oh, is that so? Really? If a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is very often successful at changing the way you look at the world. The real horror, eh? What a delicious... Sorry, I can't say that word. I am technically low-key... Delicious. Delicious genre, okay. Have you read? Yes, his cat diary is hilarious, Ranger. Are you a fan of Ito as well? Dude, if you've not seen the image, I have an image rotating through on the left. That's my current collection of, um, of Ito novels. I'm collecting the hardback of his ones. And I've got the, um, I've got Dissolving Classroom and I've got Cat Diary. And I've got the art book as well. I fucking, I, I just love it. I read, uh, I read Frankenstein first because I wasn't sure I'd be into it. And I was like, well, I know I like the story of Frankenstein, so I'll get that one. But the contrast in storytelling between him doing Frankenstein's story and his own short stories at the back was so insane. I, I just fell in love. And then I got Tomie and that was my second book. And my god, it's amazing. It's like 700 pages. It's a hard book, Tomie. Just, oh, wow. That's my favorite book. And then No Longer Human was a story written by a gentleman in 1972, I think. Um, there's a bit of a story behind that one, which I can go into if you want. 
Uh, that's my second favorite Ito book. Although the, he changed the story a little bit, but most of it is based on the original novel. I get spooked easily, but I know of his work. Oh, I love it, Ranger. I want I want to own Junji Ito like apparel, you know, like clothing. But it's really expensive to get in the UK because you have to like, a it's expensive, and then you have to pay like import fees on top of that. And it's like shit, dude. I'm paying like eighty quid or some shit to get like this this hoodie. It's like, fuck me. Maybe one day. Maybe for Christmas. Because I was down over me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write down cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Wh what? What gives you that idea? I left a piece of scrap paper behind. Last club meeting. Looked like you were working on a poem called... D don't say it out loud. Give that back. I imagine she's like Peridot, but I can't do Peridot's voice. Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I, I guess sometimes. Why do, you, why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not very confident writer yet. Yo, Ranger. Thank you again for the bits, my man. You, um, you don't have to keep doing it, though, dude. Cool? Okay? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes... I, I do appreciate it. I just want you to be okay. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing them the deepest reaches of your heart. You have writing experience too, Yuri. Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Delicious. Ranger, <laughs> take it with a gun. <laughs> Thank you, Ranger. Just but seriously, be okay, okay? Hope you're good. Thank you, my man. That delicious bits. Um, like that. <laughs> We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? Natsuki and Yuri quizzically look look quizzically at Monica. They'll go home and write poems of her own. Good, I'm glad to hear it, Ranger. I'm glad to hear it. Next time we meet, we all share them to each other. That way everyone is you. We'll start finding activities for us all to participate in together. I decide to take on the responsibility of vice president after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, Ghost? Hold on, there's still one problem. Uh, what's that? Now we've reached the most important topic, I've bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join the club. Monica, you may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um, I lose my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Boris the Wolf, Unger Bunger, how you doing, my man? You, uh, you still made of ink? How's that holding out for you, my dude? Can't touch water or anything like that, can you? But, I'm sorry, I thought... <laughs> eh? Girls exchange glances, yes. <laughs> Still made of ink, yes. You're okay though. You survive in all the rain, eh? Girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth, Ghost. The thing is, we don't have enough members to form an official club. We need four. I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. If we don't find one more before the festival, I defenseless kids go. Oh wow, all this reading. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I feel terrible for laying everyone down in this situation. Besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. Oh man, I really want to play this with some people. It's so much fun, like, reading this game with people. Be there in a few <laughs> Oh, hell yes. Clay, my man. Clay, I just saw your message in Discord. Holy shit, dude. Thank you so much. 
This game is so much fun to play with people. We're on the second run. Correct my grammar, my spelling, and yeah, wrong button. There we go. Holy shit, dude! Thank you for joining us, Clay. Um, I'm just in the voice chat if you want to join. Once you're in, I'll do the game share, and then once we're that far, you can show off some out on stream if you'd like, and we'll uh. We'll give Clay a shout out, eh? For those of you who don't know, Clay draws mecha of various varieties. He does metabots, he does detailed mecha designs on occasion, he does unique like fantasy designs. That's his primary inspiration for mecha. He's a huge mecha fan. Holy shit, dude. He could talk you out of the water. And um I think that covers all the styles that he's done. Are you just chibis as well? Chibis mech, chibi mechs. Chibi mechas, yeah. I wonder why Clay wants to voice Yuri of, of all characters. I mean, Yuri's my favorite character, hands down. Absolutely. <laughs> she's the tallest, she's got the biggest chest, she's got long dark hair. She's like shy, timid, and she, but she's also like loves horror and stuff like shit man 10 out of 10 there we go my drink with my leg yes is there any anyone else who wants to join the voice chat play do you know anyone who would want to join us as well because I, I really enjoy playing this with people. It's so funny. Hey, yo. Wait, Jesus. shoot. Okay. Yeah, I sound fine now. Can you hear me, sir? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That made me jump. Oh, oh God. No, I can't hear you. Uh, You can't hear me? No. Come Weird. On, okay. Let me, uh, let me do this. And then this. Can you hear me now? No? Hold up. I think I might know why. Oh my god, I'm actually that loud? I'm sorry. No, no, it's, it's all good, it's all good. <laughs> Wait, I can't hear your mic, uh, ghost. It's okay, I will look into the settings of it. Hold on, let me back up just for a sec. I'll okay. get this. How's this now? No, yeah, I can I can hear you. Yeah, okay, that's volume's fine. all good. Hold I'm on, just gonna... Try and figure something out. <clears throat> Gosh. I'm actually kind of sweating right now. I thought it was going to be like a breeze in here. Nah, nah, it's all good. It's all good, man. That is so odd. Is that okay? Can you hear me now? Oh, wait. I can hear you now? You said yeah. Can you hear me Hell now? Hell yeah. There we go. Fuck yeah. Oh my god. I'm actually like on the sweat mode right now. And Why? Up What's up, man? Not much. Not much. Just a little. A little tired from last night. I stayed up late just to just to voice chat with friends. That's it. Uh, I feel you. I feel you, man. <laughs> <laughs> don't 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 do such things like I do. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, should I watch from your Twitch stream? I know there's like oh. a little delay. So My bad. let me okay. share the game. There we go. There's no worries. So so many settings with this thing. There you go. If Lovely. you watch on Discord, it's much faster than it is on Twitch. Yeah, that's true. Oh, um, oh no. Wait, who's, the, who's on next online? Oh gosh, do you need more people over? Yeah, I was, I was just going to ask. Do you want to show off some of your work in the chat for anyone who's not seen it? And is there anyone you know who would be interested in joining us? Oh uh, boy. Um... I, wish, I wish Mini would play. <laughs> That'd be so funny. Oh my gosh, is Mini online right now? I gotta go. She's check. probably gone to bed. She's probably going to bed. Dang it! <laughs> um, whew, let me think. Let me think. Who would actually be? Can't think of any. I mean, I. L 
that, 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 that. I don't know if there's any other people that I could recommend. That's okay. You you I wanted guess. to voice Yuri? Yeah, I've always then <laughs> no. This is actually kind of embarrassing. Ah. Okay, you can voice Yuri. I'll, I'll, <laughs> <laughs> Yuri's the best one. Yo, thank you for the host, Ranger. Hell yeah. Ranger is Ranger's a, a a man of justice, you peop you you guys. But uh he uh, he must be some kind of degenerate cuz uh cuz uh he loves some darkness. <laughs> I'll tell you that. But bomb. Okay, I'll give you some mm. bombs, man. Uh, we got some explosives. Wolf, do you want to do you want to join us as well? It'll be great. It'll be a cakewalk. No way, cakewalk. That's kind of um, stretching it. No. <laughs> oh, but Wolf. Oh, fair enough. Oh, you just got home. Okay. Understood. I thought Wolf did a really good for the. He did a really good voice of the little characters, the little, the little waifus. Oh the, boy. You're gonna do Yuri. I'll do Monica. Um, are you cool with doing the little girl as well? Because yeah, I've got I'll to make play, cool. Yeah, I'll play the. Oh gosh, I, I, it's just not my. <laughs> Hi, but she's... Oh, okay, sure, I'll do it. <laughs> okay. Can, can you do voice like Peridot from Steven Universe? Because I feel like she sounds like that. <laughs> I don't know how to sound annoying or bitchy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I mean, um... Well, okay, sh for Yuri, I think I might have the right voice. I don't know. I'll see. Well, it's okay, <clears throat> we got this. Like, oh my god, says Wolf. <laughs> Oh shit! Uh, I, I used to. I mean, I used to have like a very feminine voice back then. I, I can actually squeak, but then like you know, around the time of high of uh, university, it's like. Whoosh. Um. Well, you have. Uh, I'll give. You give it a try. I'll give it a go. Yeah, I'll <laughs> give it a go. All right. Mm. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Oh my goodness! Really. Do you really mean that ghost? Yeah. It could be fun, right? It really did scare me for a moment. 10 out of 10. Oh god. oh god, shit! I mean, if you really just left after all this, I would be super pissed. Eh. Gosh, I can't... I can't Sundaray right. Just finishes all our sentences yeah. by saying keck. <laughs> <laughs> Ghost, I'm so happy. We can be an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can give to you. Wait, I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? That's uh, so suspicious. Oh. oh yeah, she's mega suspicious. Um, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Ghost, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ghost Osamo Daisuku. Daisuki. It's just chat. Yeah. Daisuki! Ch check this out, guys. No, no, it's okay, man. Okay. Um, I've got the mic on. The Twitch stream was kind of too loud on my part. Oh, I'll turn it down in just a bit then. I'm not very good okay. at measuring that stuff by ear. <laughs> Check this out. Um, uh, Rain Sun Gamma did uh, did an alert sound for me. Oh boy. Oh. Wait, hold on. Let me lower that to... Uh, Delicious. 75 will do. I love it. Uh, can I really impress oh. the cl uh, class star Monica with my mediocre writing? Oh, oh. Wolf can't hear the, oh, the alert. Oh, Wolf. Oh, no, it's, it's okay, it's okay. I'll play it one more time. Delicious. Alert is too quiet. You got it, man. I'll change it now. There you go, he says. There you go. I have to do on each of these? Holy shit, dude. Volume. Okay, it's perfect. There you go. Right, that'll do. Alert, it's too quiet. Ah, there you go. Sick. One more time. Delicious. 
Okay. I pump up the volume of that uh, more later. For now, it's fine. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth about those three girls. Oops. Natsuki, Yuri, the best one, and of course, Monica. Would I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to go closer to one of these girls. Alright, <laughs> I just need to make the most of my circumstances. I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Uh, you've unlocked a special poem. Yes. A joke. Oh, wow. <laughs> Keg. Oh, God. A man walked into a club. In the club, there was a girl who liked him very much. They spent some time together, and then she liked him even more. One day, the girl realized she was in love with him. Before disaster could happen, a third party intervened with her programming. Suddenly, the girl hated herself for being in love. This contradiction caused the script to derail. The universe started to collapse, but she killed herself just in time. Damn. Jesus Christ, Miri! What is that? Okay, so... Hmm. I, I, I kind of want to see if we go with Yuri, we'll get different scenes. So Maybe. I think I'm going to do with that. Because if I find out in the third run... Um... I missed some scenes of that character. I'd be kind of bummed. Probably won't, but let's do it anyway. Because I'm not... I, I don't really like the little one, to be honest. So. <laughs> right. Yeah. Let's see. Headphones. Treasure. Vibrant. Eternity. Distance. Infinite. Ambient. Anxiety. Judgment, marriage, blanket tragedy. Yamate. Oh, dude. You want to see the Yamate? All right, let's save the game. Quite many. <laughs> um, let me uh, play this on stream. Yep. Browser source. No, I want this to be... Uh, that's wrong, isn't it? Okay. Mm. It's been a while since I've done this. Remove. We're derailing the stream. <laughs> Window capture. I think that's the one I'm after. Firefox, yeah. I'll show you some Yamato, mate. Check this out. I don't know, you do your. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the, sorry, I'm a big boy, sorry. Okay. There you go. The fuck? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was I was lurking in someone's stream playing that game and I was like, this is amazing. <laughs> Two for the price of one. <laughs> Oh fuck, you didn't see it. Oh well. I oh, forgot God. I'm on the double screen. Oh well. Oh <laughs> yeah, I hear it, I hear it, I hear it. My bad, my bad. <laughs> it's a very it's perfect. <laughs> Thank God I didn't wear headphones. <laughs> I'll, I'll play that out later. That uh, was loud. That yeah, was perfect. A, it was this girl playing a horror game and she like screamed. I'll, I'll show you later. Um, um, Esther. Vivacious. Depression. Melancholy. See, I know this girl too much. Good Yamate, <laughs> 9 out of 10. <laughs> it's the way her voice, like... <laughs> so she screams the first time, right, at the jump scare, and then she has this good jump scare afterwards that's, like, a well-designed game jump scare. And, like, she's apologizing, saying, like, oh, I'm so sorry, big voice. And then her voice escalates. It just breaks, and she says, Yamate is the best shit. <laughs> <laughs> Whirlwind. She is. Horror. Horror, horror, horror. Swim suitor. 
disaster. Uh, fantasy. Shit, we got the other one. No. Oh, oh wait, I saw the black eyes. You saw the what, sorry? I saw the black eyes on Natsuki. Black eyes, huh? Terrisco Effulgent. Lost. Unrestraint. Imagination. Agonizing. Destiny. Wrath. Yeah, that one works. Unending. My gosh. What? <laughs> it's perfect. Oh. <laughs> I just I just know that that girl, you know. Um, Hell yeah. Hi again, ghost. Glad to see you didn't run away from us. Haha. <laughs> nah, don't worry. Uh this might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last one to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Thanks for keeping your promise, ghost. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. I think you dive head first into literature when you're not accustomed to it. What the fuck? Oh, come on. <coughs> oh, hold on. Oh, gosh. Oh, come on. Well, he this... deserve any slack. He was badass, man. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. Wait, wait, wait. Let me try. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. If you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. So snobby. My screen what is bogged. Oh, uh, dude. Key. You certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps... Keeps the manga collection the club room. I think that's what it says. No worries. Uh, it's, the game is bogged again. It has the, It's weird. It's like sometimes it just bugs so out. so odd. When it's minimized. That's so Thank odd. You. Thank you for letting us know, Wolf, because otherwise I can't see it. So, like, just so you guys are aware, right? Because I only have one monitor, so I have to play games in windowed mode. And I have it set up so I can see the uh, the mic feeds, if they're, like, peaking or whatever. And I can see chat down on the right-hand side, but I can't see the actual stream behind the game. What a scrub. I know, right? <laughs> Dude, look at the angle of the screen. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I can't even read that. She, she says heck? move. The oh my heck? god. <laughs> That's so odd. Boobs. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and Manga. Oh. Fine. Oh. You okay, dude? Oh, it dropped oh, no, down. No, it's just like, yeah, I don't have the... There you go. I guess it cancelled yeah, that as well. How strange. Yeah, when it works, no it works. Okay. Manga is literature. Swiftly, swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops her back into a seat. I'm, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm sorry, ghost. Well, make sure you put your comfort first, okay? You shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Um, anyway, now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book to read. <clears throat> well, oh gosh, my throat. <laughs> yeah, keep up with the plot. <laughs> I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in the club now, so it only feels right for me to do something like if you ask. Well, hey, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> If you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Uh, no, it's not that, Yuri. I want to try to be part of the club. So even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Are you sure? I, it ju I just felt like... Well, I'm vice president and all. That I should help you start started on something you might like. Yuri reaches into a bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. 
Ve pek de arasalık da arayı sakin var. Enjoy. It's a short read. It should keep your attention. Even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. To. Stop trying to give me that expression, please. Wait, Yuri. <laughs> Yes! I was like... Christ, <laughs> mate, I can't, like, try to get in character without her acting up. Just, uh, <laughs> it's okay, don't worry, man. You're doing great, oh. honestly. <laughs> just, um, oh, just pray someone else joins us in the voice chat. <laughs> this is fine. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? See what I mean? <laughs> okay. She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll, I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Yeah. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. That doesn't seem to be the case. Your face is or already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Really curious to talk to Yuri a little more. But at the same time, I'd feel bad for distracting her from reading. Catch a glimpse of the cover of a book. See, it looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Uh -huh. Crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. Takes another glance at me and her eyes meet for a split second. <laughs> but that only makes her hide and face deeper in her book. Sorry. I was just spacing out. I mutter this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh. It's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just reading a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? Holy shit, look at her eye, dude. Look at her eye. What, what the fuck? It's like shifting ever so small. <laughs> oh, I love this game, it's fucking awesome, man. <laughs> it's actually like slightly shifting. I want to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. It's curious, how come you two have copies of the same book? Uh... Well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday... Uh, that's not what I meant! Yo, Hine, thank you for joining us. Happy Saturday, how are you doing? Do you want to uh, join us in the in the voice chat and uh, voice some anime girls? Oh my gosh, please join. It'll be a great time. Always a great time. We, we've got Voldox Clay in the chat, um, and he's doing a bang-up job, but uh, it's always easier when there's more people. How are you doing here now? And by the way, Wolf, thank you for joining us, as, as usual. Absolute badass. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, I, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decide to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it started to pick up, I might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's the story about anyway? Well... Hmm... I, sorry, I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about a religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. This Christ! <laughs> and the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that are lust for blood. Uh, I'm interesting, yes. I'm really pleased so far. I was worried that the game wouldn't change that that much on the second playthrough, like, especially going with the same character. But I can clearly tell it has. Oh, indeed. But the facility gets even worse, and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affix affixing <laughs> them to- Oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. But 
anyway, I'm really into it. Uh, yeah, of course you are. The, the, the book, I mean. Not the thing about the limbs. That's kind That's of... That's kind of... Oh, sorry. That's right. okay. That's kind of dark, isn't it? You made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. Uh, are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Ghost? No, it's not that. I'm, I'm definitely a fan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I could definitely enjoy those kinds of stories. Don't worry. I hope so. <clears throat> yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri's into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story... It's just the kind that... Challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. And horrible things happen not just because someone wants to be evil... But because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. Well, thanks for the dialogue. And suddenly... I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well... I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts... My whole body... Uh. I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. Well, shut up. <laughs> Please stop me if I'm talking too much. <laughs> She's the best. <laughs> She's the best, but oh my god. I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature, literature club after all. That's... Oh, that's true. Look at I staring at you. It's so fucking cute. That's fact, right! Holy crap! I might as well get started reading it, right? Oh my oh. god. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to, but... <laughs> what are you saying? Let me just get the book. Uh -huh. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh... Yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... Your wolf pumping it up to 30k. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Really? I... I wasn't sure if we'd hit that target, and now I'm like, yeah, we're gonna hit that target. <laughs> what kind of uh, archetype is Yuri? Uh, Derry Derry? Or could I don't know. Uh, I need to know. Okay, no, that's Derry Derry Der is just overtly kind. Kudere. Uh, sometimes Kudere refers to a character who is often called blunt and cynical. No, that's not it. Um. The archetype. She's the waifu archetype. <laughs> well, they're they're all distinct. Uh, wait, what archetype? Archetype. Bookish wallflower archetype. There's no, there's no more. What, what? What? She's not. She doesn't look like. No, she's not a yandere at, at all. No way. She's like a recluse yandere. Most likely. <laughs> Jerry. Okay, um... <laughs> oh, wait, shoot. I guess let me continue. I don't want to hold back. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is reading in company with someone. See. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. Open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about the reading in company, as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing, maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. Glance over. 
Looks like she's reading from my book instead. Okay. Uh, sorry. I was just bathing in the theater law. Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> yeah, this should work, right? I slide my desk up, and this is a fucking bold ass move, okay? This guy's a player. I slide my desk up until it's up against Yuri's, then hold my book more between the two of them. This guy's a boss. <laughs> he met her like yesterday. <laughs> uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a bit, our shoulders are almost touching. Feels like my left arm is in the way, so I used. So instead, I use my right hand to hold the book open. Ah, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Ah, I do the same with my right arm on the right hand side of the book. That way I turn the page. I don't know why he didn't just say, we hold it between us. That way I turn the page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips her side. But in holding it like this, we hold it even closer together than before. That just kind of distracted me. As if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face as she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Oh god. Yeah. It... To turn the page. Uh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again and her eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh -huh. That's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. And then she just looked at me. Stop. <laughs> it's probably the least I can do. And since you've been so patient with me. Y yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Yo, kiss. How you doing, my man? Do you want to join the voice chat and voice some anime girls? We got Voldox oh, oh, oh. underscore Clay, and we're having a blast. <laughs> Hell yeah. How you doing, Kiss? Well, then well. I just assume that she finishes the page for me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page feels almost like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently getting the letting go of the page, Letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey Yuri, this might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Her face. <laughs> oh gosh. Shit, that's a new one. She didn't make that expression last time, I don't think. No, <laughs> I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Oh gosh, Yuri didn't like that. Really? I was just thinking the way that she second guesses things she says and all that. Uh, well, that's what you were talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? Never mind. We didn't even get that far yet. So I don't know why that came into my mind. In my head. <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling okay? Huh? Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since she started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hands on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I, I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. Just no. I just need... Sorry. I just need some water. All right, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Ghost. Did something happen just now? I mean, the other two girls are in the room, right? Did they not just see what was happening? <laughs> <laughs> eh? I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. 
Uh, nothing. <laughs> Don't worry, I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start with sharing our poems with each other? Eh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up, make a mental note of where I left off in the book, and I slip it back into my bag. This is different as well, because we only have these two options. It. I found oh, it. So, Yuri is a dandere. Refers to a character who is often silent and keeps to themselves. Maybe due to shyness or just because they're the quiet type. However, when alone with the person they are attracted to, they usually come out of their shell and become more loving. Okay, never mind. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, so she's a dandere. Yes, a dandere. Hold on. Uh. There we go. Oh shoot. <laughs> Why did I call her a dandy? Why not? <laughs> dandy. Dandere. Hey. <laughs> okay. Uh. Let's go, Natsuki. Oh, Natsuki, okay, I was interested I in her touched. poems yesterday. <laughs> Just playing her like she's really fake, like, oh, oh gosh. Oh gosh, no. Like really nasally. I mean, I don't want, but I don't <laughs> want to be like, it's so... Oh gosh, that stereotype. Ugh. It's okay. okay. Do, do what's comfortable for you, my dude. It's probably only fair <laughs> I shared mine with her first. What the fuck? That <laughs> <laughs> scared me. <laughs> Go, if you go, what the fuck? That actually kind of scared me. This game. <laughs> like I, I already knew what to expect, but that still caught me off guard. Go, if you're not going to take this club seriously, then go home. Excuse me, can you just put your eyeballs back in? Harsh. Uh, what? But you expect me to believe that you actually put effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? No, right. Uh, maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put effort in. We all start somewhere, right? You're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote? Then I'd like to read it. <laughs> <laughs> Painful to think about. Mm. Fine. Well, oh, sorry. You'll get better anyway. I'd tell you what to improve, but you're better off just trying again. Yo, Ant Social in the chat, do you want to join the VC? I know you do. Come on, my man. Oh my gosh. Join the, join join the, the, you're in the Discord, aren't you, Ant? I'm pretty confident you are. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Come on, Ant. One of us. One of okay, us. Let's keep going for now. Right. Fair enough. Well, to each their own, I guess. Anyway, I just gotta share mine now. I guess I gotta share mine now. Knowing you, you're, you'll probably think it's stupid. Gosh, I hate her. Eagles, eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can see. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. That's actually alright. Yeah. Well, Ant's doing college things right now. Okay, well, no worries, man. Yeah. Take care of what you gotta do, okay? We'll yep. probably be streaming for like another hour, so no rush. Good luck with that. All the best. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well... Because... Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of the poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it. it I, I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Oh gosh. <laughs> like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can really, can be really disheartening. So 
So I decide to write about it. Yeah, I understand. The other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like, I set up a, I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. What a deflate! It helps bring out, bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess what went into it, then I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. I didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did I didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with her last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki's feeling proud, then I won't take her that away from her. Oh, we got a cat coming in on the webcam. Oh boy. She's gonna like hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's show Monica. Hi, ghost. Having a good time so far? Ah, yeah. Good. I'm glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new here and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things that we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Sorry. I'll keep yawning. Sorry, guys. It's okay. I didn't get a huge amount of sleep, so... No problem. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'd much better just go in with the flow until I'm all settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, ghost. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we'll, we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm hmm Great job, Ghost. I was going, oh, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. Oh, that's like the fourth time. Um, that way, it always counts. <laughs> it always counts when I put effort in. Aha, that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean that like it's a bad thing, though. I just sometimes get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. That's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction. Still don't blame her for coming on a little strongly, like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking, and looking for a long time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri. I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hurry. I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. Still plenty of time, so I'm all glad that you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should get go get my poem now. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. So I'm pretty confident for someone who claims to be not very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Um, hole in the wall. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glanced at my surroundings. But my burned eyes can no longer see colour. Are there others in the room? Or are, are they talking? Or are they simply... Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? Sound of frantic scrawling, playing tricks on my ears, the room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. Near I breathe to space before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right here. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. Pretty good. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. 
Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. Performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, well I'm not sure if you know how to put it. If I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that. Because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Oh. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy up later. Another way to think about it is, if you keep your pen in the same point for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for the day. Thanks for listening. Yuri! I'm gonna save this before something mad happens. I'm glad you came back though. Ooh, that was close. Mm-hmm. Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Exceptional. Eh? What, what, what was that? Uh, did I say that I found love? Yuri first covers his mouth, and then ends up covering her whole face. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Going to hate me. Um, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Uh -huh. That's. I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> so, what kind of writing experience do you have? You use your image, your use of imagery and metaphors in case you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. It's actually my first time, really. Huh? He restares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. Oh, I know that. I mean, I just mean, um... Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces a finger along the words in the poem, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. Having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable I recognize in the writers is that they just try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to take a writing style separate from, from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Ew. <laughs> She's big brain. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. <clears throat> for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even this a simple poem. Look, I shall then. Let me get my intro. <laughs> okay, no, no worries, man. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by trying new things. I also hope that everybody else in the club gives you a valuable feedback. That's a key can be a little biased though. <laughs> biased how? Uh, well, 
Never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. Fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. Oh gosh. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if it's a rare opportunity for her. To be honest, she has a super wholesome smile right now. Yourself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be the literature club? Ghost under the light, the tendrils of my hair illuminate breath up beneath the amber glow. Beneath the amber glow. Bathing, Bathing, it must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue green hue of the future. A bathe calm, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers, I flicker back. I like her writing, that's for sure. Yeah, uh, it's... Mm-hmm. Sorry. No, no, it's okay. Sorry. Okay. Uh, sorry, I have such terrible... What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> She's Dandere, man. Dandere. Oh my gosh, you're in denial. I'm I... sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. I love that she's writing about a ghost and <laughs> like everything's themed about ghosts and shit. It was just oh, so fucking awesome. Oh my gosh. Danny! I wasn't thinking that at all. <laughs> but it took you a long time to read. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Uh -huh. See? Oh. <laughs> That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it's really descriptive. Was it too short? I usually write longer poems. Not all. I'm real glad you are. I'll be honest. Since it's, you know, it's not our first time sharing, I, want, I wanted to share something. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, yeah. Yuri? We're in. We're, we're in here. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the story isn't a ghost at all. Ghost. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we're out. We're out. <laughs> really? Oh, Christ. I must have really missed the point. <laughs> well, I suppose you only did glance over it after all. Hey, I'm not stupid. <laughs> Remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, expression, experience, and works. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in our last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. And soon to be left with nothing. Oh gosh, she's a drama lady. <laughs> That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. Hadn't even thought about that. It's impressive. Huh? It's nothing really. There's other than present too, so... Nah. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Yeah, of course. Uh, you know... I was really nervous about doing all this. But in the end, I enjoyed it. I want to keep doing my best for you, ghost. Uh, me too. You. I guess that's everyone. I glanced the run around the room. That was a lot more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. <laughs> Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, literature club after all. I sigh. <sighs> I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in a notebook. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. 
They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, showing their respective poems. Gingerly. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow <laughs> into frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri <laughs> smiles sadly. What is this language? <laughs> Did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Sorry, Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant... The language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> Seven's in the chat. Yeah, that's Clay, my dude. Bruh. <laughs> do, do you want to join us, Hello, Seven? Seven? Yeah, join us. I, I'm, Seven's been voicing a lot of characters in this game lately. <laughs> So, 100% you're more than welcome, but I don't blame you if you want to, like, take a break. <laughs> I'll probably only go for, like, another 45 minutes anyway, because I'm pretty tired, to be honest. You're so gay. You mean you had to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but... But it really didn't come out nice at all. Yo, Seven, no worries, dude. Take care of what you gotta take care of. And get some rest, I man. Good, uh, one, good day, good day, good day. Seven. Fox says, you want to hear something crazy? Uh, sure, Fox. I hope everything's okay, though. Yeah. Fine. Well, I do have a couple suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone actually liked it cheers seven i appreciate it my man which people did by the way monica liked it fox just said what's up in in the in the chat i left twitch on all day yesterday and everyone was hosting someone else when i got back on this afternoon i had someone made my way back to your stream wait you, you you were watching me stream, you left it on, I must have raided someone else, and then throughout a circuit of raids, it came back here, is that correct? Well, that was something. Okay. And Ghost did too. That's awesome though, Fox. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestion of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the effort, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, <clears throat> which I haven't yet. <clears throat> and, and ghosts like my poem, too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh! Oh gosh. I didn't need, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? That's not- that's not what I- <laughs> You're just- <laughs> She's getting feisty, yeah? Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Ghost appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Primity. Huh? How do you know that? Uh, huh? How do you know that he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? <laughs> no. 
If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Fox just said uh, is, uh, he's 20k away from the tombstone channel point redemption. Oh well, boy. That's like, what, four streams or something? Find out, eh? Looking forward to it, Fox. Awesome. I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as ghosts started showing up. <laughs> oh my god. Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, um, Natsuki that's, a little... that's a little... Oh, sorry. Okay. okay. This doesn't involve you. This doesn't involve you. <laughs> Taking out your own insecurities on others like that. What? You really act as young as you look, Natsuki. Me? Who's look, look who's talking. You wanna be edgy, bitch? Whoa, this got intense. Edgy? Sorry that my lifestyle's too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my plan. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduated. You know? If you want, if you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Oh, damn. Whoa. You be careful or you might cut yourself on that edge. Gosh. Oh, my bad. You already do, don't you? <laughs> Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. A ghost here, everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. I mean, she's not <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Guys, suddenly Yuri turns towards me as she noticed I was standing here. Gosh, everything. Look at ghost! It's just, she's trying to make me look bad. That's not true. Started it. <laughs> Yuri. Don't come on, Monica, play fair. <laughs> Wrecked. Holy shit, Monica. Okay. Crime -y. Um hey ghost. Why don't we start and why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay. Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. <sighs> Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. Just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes, but I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Savage wrecked. <laughs> Quickly runs Quickly away. Quickly runs away. Oh dear. It looks like they're done. Didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Mm. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk, with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I, I believe I... you. Did... I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki, or did. Good ghost. Please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. Alright, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. 
Anyway, the meeting's over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something, but she keeps glaring at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. <laughs> well, I'm vice president, so... Please let me take that responsibility today. Kind of sounds like you don't want me around or something, Yuri. It's not bad. It's not bad. I'm just... I don't get much of a chance to discuss my book with girls. It just would be... It would just be embarrassing with you listening. I... Yes, I don't really have a choice, do I? It's fine for cousin travel. Oh god. Holy oh. fuck. I was just ready to finish. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Crimity. Oh man. Okay, let's do this. Uncontrollable. Despise. Intellectual. Pleasure. Uh, passion. Damn. I saw the black eyes again. Unstable. Uh, extreme. Explode, no way. Peaceful, yes. Misfortune. Vivacious. Entropy. Anxiety? Yeah. Aura. Unrequited. Philosophy. Massacre. <laughs> I wonder what happens if I do that. There's the fear. I can't, I can't get to it. No, you can't. Okay. Universe. Oppression. Brightening. Incongruent. Graveyard. Organizing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Another day passes. <laughs> Another day passes and it's time for a club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple of days. But that was good, says Fox. What's up? Quite indeed, though. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Okay. Welcome back, ghost. Uh, hi, Yuri. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression. The weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Oh, it, I'm getting complimented by the, that deeper voice. Yeah. Game is oh freaking God. out. No. Oh, her eye was drifting off, yeah. That's okay. Uh -huh. Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki is reading a manga at a desk. Surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes her arm and pulls me into the corner of the room. Holy shit! What the fuck? About <laughs> uh, yesterday. I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. Uh, something just came over my head. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but that's as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple of days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. And now you're going to apologize. I keep like, my delivery is really shit. And now you're apologizing. I know you really didn't mean it. Uh, 
don't say those kind of things so frankly. You're gonna drug me in a closet. It made me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything's a little bit brighter with you around, and... Uh, sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? <laughs> no, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man. Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. <laughs> Yuri is clearly taken back aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. No, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. <laughs> what? Why are you looking at me like that? Uh, Natsuki, about... About yesterday. I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any things I said. I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So... Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? What? Did you do something yet? What?! <laughs> Did you do something yesterday? Yeah? Jeez. Whatever in your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little thing things, aren't you? Yeah. But, but I'll accept your apology anyway if it helps you feel better about it. And besides, it's kind of nice to hear you since I was always afraid you really hated me or something like that. <laughs> No, not at all. I don't hate you. <laughs> well, you're kind of weird, but I don't mind. I don't hate you either. <laughs> Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. <laughs> hey. Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Oh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Funky Monk in the chat, yo, how's it going? We're playing, uh, obviously more Doki Doki, and this game is fucking crackers. It's amazing. <laughs> nah. <laughs> oh, sorry, yes, let me introduce Voldox underscore Clay. Uh, let me give you another shout out as well, Clay. Sounds good. He draws all sorts of different mecha designs from, like, chibi to highly detailed, to fantasy styles, uh, to metabots. Dude, well, this game is freaking nuts. It's hella nuts, my dude. Well, uh -huh. Natsuki was. Oh, okay. I was not. Uh -huh. What took you so long, anyway? Uh, well, my last period was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Uh -huh. That makes no sense, though. You would, you would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music. I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Uh, don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good. Still, still, that must require a lot of dedication. So, I'm still impressed. Ah, well, thanks, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. Ah, uh, that's... Monica looks at me. Well, I'm working on writing a song. That's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little better, I will. 
That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Ghost. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Uh, don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I choose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki has already run off into the closet. Here he goes. Um... Since your confidence put me in a good mood... Here it is. I was wondering if you'd like to spend some time together. Yes! <laughs> I mean, in the club! <laughs> Yeah, yes, yeah. yes, please. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I planned on it anyway. Okay. Can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. <laughs> I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? Don't stop. I'm sorry. Oh, gosh. <laughs> My heart. Just won't stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you have so much energy. Yeah. But I need to try to calm down. I'm gonna be a focus on reading like this. Take your time. Yuri takes a deep breath and then pulls a copy of the book out of a bag. <laughs> what? <laughs> Actually, I have a request. <laughs> Do you mind if I make some tea first? Oh boy. Not at all. Thanks very much. There's one thing that can make my reading time with you any better. A nice cup of tea. And to make sure for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with the filter inside. Well. Hold on for a sec. Oh, shoot. Hold on. And I never get that. Okay, hold this for a sec. Yeah. Yuri heads with the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this at the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. He walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms, especially because of her long legs. Holy shit, man. Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Legit scoping her out. <laughs> Tall girl, hell yeah. Okay, may I, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks. I'll be right there. Uh, I might as well walk with you. That, that's okay. You stay here. It won't take. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's it's not like this. That this time, she's filling up the water pitch to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. See, that's different as well. In the first run through, Yuri wants uh, the main character to go with her. But Monica steps in and was like, is it really necessary that you both go? What the hell? Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Oh shit, dude. Something holding her up. And Bod just waiting here, so I decided to cut for Oh fuck. Oh Let's I'm see. expecting I'm expecting this. I know what's gonna happen. Oh shit, is she is she gone? Is she uh is she dead? I'll be expecting this. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Funky monk. Quit the game! No, 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 no. I don't want to have. Oh, shit, man. Okay, okay. <sighs> Sorry if that was loud. The most logical place for Yuri to be, the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. <sighs> that noise. It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. Sharp inhale. It looks like someone is sucking the air in through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around. Yuri? 
Oh, yeah. Yay. Oh, fuck's sake. I have a... Oh, re re rewind yeah, rewinding, huh? I'm back. Oh, girl. Don't hurt I'm yourself, guys. Oh, Sorry. primary. Girls, do you like oolong tea? Yeah. Anything is fine. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You already do this properly, don't you? Of course. I should do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. <laughs> In that case, you'll only be here longer. You'll only be even more impressed. Just gotta give a ranger his a uh, battle royale. Bruh. There you go. Fight to the death for the goddess that is Yuri. Ah, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. Yuri, uh, you must be in a good mood now. That's so. I was letting it chill. You notice? I was doing a bit of thinking. And I decided I would try expressing myself a little bit more. Turns out that it's not a... Oh, that's a... No, oh, okay. Turns out it's not very hard for me to do. I was, I was just about to burp there. <laughs> Apple Ranger in the chat said, She shall be mine. And like lifted a gun. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Fox said, he gifted me a sub to his own channel, I owe him. Oh, that's sweet. Hey, whiz, boy. What next, sorry. Okay. Let's... And Natia was around anyway. Ah. That's great, Yuri. Sorry, it's just chat kicking up. <laughs> Rage Everyone, is like, I, see, I see, I see people kicking ass right now. Range is like, I failed her. Oh, oh man, Oops. I'm unstoppable. <laughs> just don't push yourself too much. Oh boy. Um, you're always worrying about me, folks. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I wish Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Oh, okay, hold on. Girls, I have another request. Do you... Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh, yeah, why's that? <laughs> it's a little bit easier on my back. No, <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I can... I... I can read on my back against the wall rather than stepping over at my desk. This is the part where she's like, confirms she gets back pain because of her bust size. Yeah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. Box random safla. <laughs> I just have a back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Why is that, Yuri? I wonder why that is. Mostly because my... Uh, my... Your massive chest. Oh, it's hunched over like while reading, right? Yes! Ranger, Ranger said she has back pain from carrying the whole damn literature back. Best girl problems. <laughs> back problem. Literature oh, club. I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. A bag of small chocolate candies. 
I take it, since it'll go well with the tea. You're in and set against the wall, teacups are our sides. Are you ready for this, Clay? Oh, I'll expect this. <laughs> as if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer than to each other. I can't see to her. Uh, Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I Fuck. supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it in my hand with my hand, that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Now I need to worry about my... <laughs> I was gonna say something else then. <laughs> because now, now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Oh my god. Oh my god. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. <laughs> Chat popping off. <laughs> Holy crap! Fox, Fox is like, there's a wowzers in my trousers. Oh what's happening? What's happening? This is, oh my gosh, wowzers in my trousers. Let's go later again. Turn in, dude. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with a chocolate wrapper. Uh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book and finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. That's... That's okay. I won't take any. Hey, you sure? Well... If I touch it, then I get... Then I might get smudges on it. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Chat is kicking off. Uh, you're right. We all know the hardship of the focus. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. Yeah, you hold on, shit. Um, I'll hold the book, okay? <laughs> Look at all her fingers! Yes! Ooh. Let's um, go! Primity. I mean, it, it, like I said, in the first, in the first, like, day or whatever it is, or the second, I can't fucking remember, he's like so gutsy, he's just like, oh, Let's just sit next to each other and hold the same book. He's like super ballsy. <laughs> oh but now boy. he's like freaking out. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any hard of a time reading it from her. But as a, as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that Frick. case, <laughs> Yuri's already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it in my mouth. Then I take another chocolate candy, and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips, as if in this situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. <laughs> I apprehensively oh place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Yeah. Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just? Here he looks. <laughs> Sorry, it's just. Oh my gosh! Ghost has three knees, a left knee, a right knee, and. <laughs> oh, Chad. Fair, fair dues. <laughs> fair dues. Uh, well played, sir. Well played, uh, Funky. Uh, monk. Oh my god. Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Uh oh. Ghost. Sorry. Sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh-huh. Yuri starts to breathe heavily. Uh -huh. I... I can't... Ghost. Suddenly Yuri forcibly grabs my arm. Yo, what the fuck is happening? What the fuck?! <laughs> jerks me to my feet. Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to- She's standing up, okay? My teeth gets knocked over. Oh. Is that a kiss? 
Um, my heart. Uh, my heart won't stop pounding, ghost. Oh, I think I might know. I can't calm down. Can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, ghost? Oh, God! <laughs> Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um <laughs> I hate comedy. I hate I mean I hate romance. I uh, oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. Ah, I can't freaking stop. Her eyes have gone fucking crazy. Uh, I can't even... It even makes me not want to read. I just want... to look... at you. Oh gosh. Oh, hi. Oh, gosh, no, I actually have to sound very orgasmic. Is that the word? Sure, why not? <laughs> yeah. Let's go, let's oh, go, let's keep moving. <laughs> He's freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I'm probably not. Okay, oh, gosh. <laughs> um, yeah. But she's still the best waifu, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Holy shit. She was gonna <laughs> fucking bang him. I, I, I thought it would, I thought it was ready. <laughs> like, what? Are you going? Wow. <laughs> Funky, oh my style. god, dude. That's too unsettling. Jesus Christ, what's going on with Ryu? You're too unsettling. Um, time for a three. Oh, okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to share our poems. Okay, let's Damn go. Damn it, you straight. cut us off, you. Let's go straight for Yuri. Okay. Two for the price of one. <laughs> Oh, oh Wolf. God. Wolf, Wolf wants to show us the, do the clip. I did say I would do it again because I goofed up first time. So let's do it this time. We'll take Stay a short, back. like a very, very short break from uh, from that stream. Eh? Okay, I'm just gonna yeah. do myself again. Yeah. Go back to the beginning. Hold on. Oh. You do your thing! <laughs> Sorry, I'm a big boy. Sorry. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good. Did it show for you guys? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. Stop. Don't do it. <laughs> We've done it now. Damn it. <laughs> I want to go stop being that person. Funky bringing the spicy spice. Oh, don't do it. I should have been a rat in this game. I mean, it's super <laughs> spicy. I, saw it, I, I imagine there's probably like, because you can mod this game. There's a modding community. I imagine there's uh, some proper like batshit insane stuff. Oh my gosh. <laughs> did that you're to eat yourself out of here. <laughs> yes, and social. Fuck that, Clan Wolf says. That's that's Clan Wolf. That's my reaction to those eyes. Yamate, Yamate. That that's what you call romance. Yeah, that's what you call romance. <laughs> Fucking yeeting around the window. <laughs> I wasn't sure of like how to approach the voicing because it was like turning into uh, implied. I think you did a great job. I think you did a great job, my man. Uh, oh gosh. Okay. Let's let's do this. 
Sorry, go oh, ahead. Wait, I, I guess I'll say this is just like the fact that I'm like, okay, I, I try to deny that I don't get invested with romance kind of stuff, but okay. <laughs> Well, when she's this thick. I don't, but then I screamed and I was like, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> when she's this, this top tier. <laughs> Fine. Okay, I fight for best girl. Okay, okay, sorry. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you're ready for today. Cool. Ding. Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? Yeah, whoops. This one might be even better than yesterday's. How did you even pick up on this so quickly? It's just yesterday I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving it more imag imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. Uh, that makes me so happy. It's so amazing to feel like I'm valued, Ghost. Oh gosh, this is gonna happen. Everything that you write is a treasure to me. I'd stop. <laughs> My heart pounds just holding it. <laughs> 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 I want to write a poem about this feel. Okay, no. That bad, Ghost? <laughs> I'm not being weird, right? I'm having a harder time than usual concealing my emotions. Of course you are. I'm kind of embarrassed. But right now, I just want you to read my poem too. Okay? Yeah, what did Paul say? The only reaction necessary to those eyes and this person. Oh shit. I'll make sure to save as well in case the game breaks. I'm not too sure about that. Oh, you gotta get okay. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't get purged. <laughs> not lost. Okay. Oh, what the shit in hell? This is different. All of text. Okay. Wheel. Uh, can you read this easier than I can, Clay? Okay, sure. A rotating wheel, turning on axle, grinding, but both. Both head. Uh, linear gear boy. A falling sky. Seven holy stakes. A dock ship. A patrol to another wood. Well, another world. Um, uh, a thin rope tied to a thick rope. A tor. Uh, wait. A torn harness. A parabolic. A parabolic, parabolic, parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, time controlled by slipping cogwheels, existence of God, swimming with open water in all directions, drowning, a prayer, what's the stain on the right, never mind, who cares, uh, drowning, a prayer written in blood, a prayer written in, in time devouring snakes with human eyes, snakes with human traits. A thread connecting all living human eyes. A kaleidoscope of holy stakes. Exponential gearbox. A sky of exploding stars. God disproving the existence of God. A wheel rotating in six dimensions. Uh, 40 gears and a ticking clock. A clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet. Um, a clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks every second time. <laughs> a, 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 bolt head, a bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a dark ship to another world. A kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks. A time-devouring prayer connecting to a sky of 40 years. 40 gears and open human eyes in all directions. Gosh, you're starting to get a little cosmic there, Yuri. Breathing gearbox, breathing bolt head, bolt head. Breathing ship, breathing portal, breathing snakes, breathing God, breathing blood, breathing holy stakes, breathing 
human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. Um, That's it. Stains of time is what I'm trying to get at. Crazy. I'll just catch up with chat just real quick. Um, I don't share, not safe for work. Yeah, Wolf's awesome, man. I can trust Wolf. Uh, don't stop. This is canon. Oh, yo, Curdle. Dude, you fucking missed the sh some shit earlier. It was kicking <laughs> off, man. We, <laughs> the best girl in the game almost fucking had us romantically and then almost murdered us. Indeed. That deteriorated rapidly. Prodag unable to read the comments. <laughs> I'd say there's some Silent Hill shit, but it makes less sense somehow. <laughs> I agree. It was starting to become more existential horror yeah. with, yeah, because like the existence of God or just the stains of time. <laughs> Yuri was such a freaking poet. That one really connected with me. Yo, Tofu, thanks for coming back. Thank you, Curdle, as well, my dude. Spends more time in your stream than he does, mate. Nah, that can't be true. How you doing, Curdle? Curdle's a 3D artist, by the way, guys. Uh, he makes, like, Mega Man, primarily Mega Man, like, 3D models. Um, check him out if you're interested. Okay. Thank so... you very much, Fox. Right, let's keep, let's, right. let's plot on. All right. Okay, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter what's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. <laughs> that stuff then fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safety and. I am. I uh. I don't want to touch it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it. And now you're touching it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. What did I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem though. Main character just pulls out a wedding ring. <laughs> oh my gosh! Right, I think we're gonna stop there because I. Uh, sorry, go on. Endowed it with her scent. Yes. In some <laughs> I found this in your room, Yuri. <laughs> now marry me. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stop here because uh, I normally do four hours on a day off, and uh, I need to catch up some sleep pretty hard. Um. Um, I'm losing vision in my eyes already. Uh, what's it's happening okay, in take chat? Your time. I mean, yeah, you definitely need a rest. My avatar is scratching his legs. Just curdle. How are you doing today, Louis? Uh, you don't have to shout me out, man. Thank you, though. Hey, no worries, curdle. The lady does that to you, run. Run to water, social. and social. You run to water. <laughs> Doing okay, Funky Monk. Early one today. If Lady does that, she plans to do some very unpleasant things to your weenie. <laughs> sounds of, sounds about right. Wrote with what? <laughs> Wait, you write a poem for Yuri now? Deep sniff. I could tell it was yours by the way it smelled. In the way. <laughs> Yo, thank you, Clay, so much Oops. for uh, for being on voice with me. You freaking nailed it, man. You did such a good job. <laughs> That Blank scene man. was fucking badass. Put out of this. Um, that voice drop is amazing. <laughs>